In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most powerful tools that you have at your disposal for product research. Hey, what's that? What is that? Now, we all know that when it comes to product research, this has to be one of the most crucial aspects to anybody's dropshipping business. Without the right products, without winning products, then we just have a store that isn't making any sales. This is the worst. <laughs> so how do we find some of the best possible winning products? Well, in today's day and age, TikTok is the absolute best place for product research. There you can find things that are trending along with potential upcoming trends. So on TikTok, you can really find almost everything that you need in terms of some of the best products to sell. But how can you narrow down so many different videos and so many different products from a website as massive as TikTok? Well, today's video is gonna focus on just that. A TikTok ad spy tool that's gonna help you filter out through all of the different videos to help you find the winning products for your dropshipping business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for this, what we're gonna be using is the TikTok ad spy tool from AutoDS. Now, in order to gain access to this, you are gonna to need to have an account with AutoDS, but if you're not a member just yet, or if you're not just fully sure if you wanna commit, then you can check us out right now for the trial period for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, once you have everything set up and you have your account ready and you're signed in, this is gonna be the first page you see. This is our marketplace where you can find tons of different products to import to your dropshipping store. Now, this isn't what we're gonna be focusing on today. Rather, we're gonna be clicking over here where you see the TikTok Spy. So click on that. So once you click on the TikTok Spy tab, then this is the page that it's gonna take you. Now on here, you're gonna find a lot, and I mean a lot of different TikTok videos that all have some sort of product in them. Now, one thing that is important to note is that not every single video that pops up on this particular page is gonna have a dropshipping product or gonna be a product that's eligible to dropship. Now, what I mean by a product that's eligible to dropship is a product that we're allowed to dropship. So you are gonna find a few things here that are potentially copyright. So of course, when you find those, just keep scrolling and look for something else. Now, as you can see, there's tons of different videos on here. And in a lot of these different videos, you're gonna find quite a few different products. Like here we have an adjustable mini projector, which actually looks pretty cool. A tripod ring light that actually comes in the shape of a square. That's pretty interesting. I haven't seen that yet. Some smart sunglasses, apparently for only $5. And on top of that, you have the stats for each video right under it. So this one has 29 likes, doesn't have any comments, only has five shares. The tripod has 19 likes, six comments with no shares. So this way you can see what's trending and what's getting attention, what videos are gaining attention. Not only can this help you find winning dropshipping products, but it can also help start to give you ideas on how you're going to market them. Because of course, we're going to want to market our products on TikTok. So taking a look at some of these different videos and the video structures and all of the different video creatives can start to spark your ideas to coming up with some similar content or some content that's completely different, but inspired by everything that you see here or the different video examples that you have. Now, if we keep scrolling, we're gonna find a lot more. You see over here, this one has 46,000 likes. So there's a big difference between this one here and the ones up here. So let's quickly just take a look to see what this is. Apparently this is an ad, so it could be a sponsored post and then actually has a shop now button versus the see TikTok ad. So let's go ahead and click on this one really fast. And before we play the video, let's look at some of the information that we have here on the side. So first off, we have the impressions. This is pretty cool because this shows you how many people this video has gotten in front of, not necessarily how many people have watched it, but how many people it's gotten in front of. This can include either people that watch the whole video or people that watch the video for a few seconds and then scroll through it. Now, besides that, we have the likes. So this video obviously is doing very well with 46,000 likes and insanely well with the amount of impressions, 29 million. In terms of comments though, it's kind of lacking. That's kind of interesting. It only has four comments and three shares. So it's got a pretty low interaction rate. So do we want to actually mimic what they're doing? Let's find out. Let's see what they're doing and what product this is. Let's settle in and do some of my favorite cozy hobbies together. So first things first, we obviously have to change it to a comfy fit and then set the mood with some candle ambiance. This scent by Glade is my favorite. And then the cool- Okay, so this seems to be simply an ad for Glade. So this person was probably sponsored and Glade reached out to them to make a video. So this isn't something that we're gonna be drop shipping because again, this is a branded product, but let's keep on looking at what we have available to us. So let's go ahead and click on shop now and see where it takes us. Detect the dupes. So it takes us to the actual website for Glade. Okay, cool. Well, the website that catches duplicates. That's pretty interesting. Besides that, if you click on see original post, it'll take you to the original TikTok video, but let's keep looking. Except this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of the different filters because this is gonna be your best friend. The filters on the TikTok spy tool section are gonna be your absolute best friend 
when it comes to sorting out all of these different videos and the ones that aren't relevant. So first off, we have the amount of likes. So how many likes do we want our results to have? So I want videos that have more than 500,000 likes, more than 200,000, more than 50,000. Up here, more than 200 and 500,000, that's already pushing it to the super viral videos. A lot of the times videos like this could be promoted or they simply could be videos with just massive influencers. So while they can work, my suggestion is stick to 20 or 50. I like to stick to more than 20,000 likes because that overall is an insane amount. Besides that, you have linked product. So is a product linked to the TikTok video? This is very important because a lot of the times this can differentiate a basic video that just talks about a certain product versus a video that's actually trying to advertise that product and put it in front of the eyes of a customer who's actually going to make that purchase. Remember, this is going to include videos that are pretty much telling you to Go to the link in their bio, click on that and purchase a product through there. Right next to that, we have the CTA button. So do you want the results to have a call to action button? If so, which one? There's shop now, order now. Typically, these are going to be the two that you're going to want to go with because these are going to be the ones that are more geared towards products themselves. But you're also going to have the visit store, shop here and order today, along with a few others. Then if there's anything in particular that you're thinking about, so let's say you saw something on TikTok not too long ago and you only kind of remember what the product is, but you don't know exactly what it was. You can go ahead and search certain hashtags, certain keywords or anything through the search function. Now, after that, we have the advanced filters. So if you really want to start getting specific with your searches, you can go ahead and go through here under advanced filters. You're going to have a lot more specifications or more specifics that you can set for your parameters for your search results. So now under shares, you can have either under five, five to 50 or more than 50. This is a bit more realistic for certain types of products because not every single product is going to have a thousand shares, 2000 shares. So this is going to be a bit more specific for actual dropshipping products. Besides that, same thing goes for the comments. So how many comments does it have? And this is pretty cool. When was the last comment? So when was the last time this video was actually active? So for this, you have the option between one to seven days. You also have an interaction rate. So overall interactions, this takes into consideration the number of likes, shares, comments, and gives you a percentage. Then you have your impressions, which your impressions are going to be again, how many eyes has this video been in front of? You have anywhere between 20 to 500,000. Again, these are my preferred methods of actually going through the different videos because whenever I see something that has over 500,000 likes or over 50,000 likes even, you kind of look at it and you're like, that's, that's gonna be very hard to replicate. That's sometimes kind of intimidating. But being able to find certain videos that have more of a realistic reach, it can kind of help you better understand what is and what isn't working. Because again, going back to one of those videos that have massive amounts of likes, a lot of times they could be promoted, there could be a budget behind them, and you're never really going to know. Now, besides that, you have the country that it's being ran in. So where do you want to see videos from? From the US? Are you going to be dropshipping in the US? Maybe from China? You can start getting ideas for, let's say, some Chinese products that might not hit US shelves just yet. Same thing goes for any of the other countries on here. As far as language, you can choose any language as well. So you're not limited to just English videos. And then last but not least, you have a creation date. So when was the video actually uploaded to TikTok? This is pretty cool because it can help you find videos and products that are recent, not stuff from a year ago or a year and a half ago, things that probably aren't relevant anymore. Now, while you do have a regular date range, you also have a custom range. So you can set your own parameters for this. Then you have the source. So this is pretty cool because you know how I just said that you're never going to really know whether or not somebody's actually promoting a video. Well, this can give you an idea as to what's currently being promoted. Maybe not what was promoted in the past and doesn't have a budget anymore and the ads aren't being ran anymore. But if there's a video that is currently running, that's advertised, that has a budget behind it, you can filter it out through here. So organic or TikTok shops, that's going to be videos that people just post and go viral. Videos that have products attached to them that aren't necessarily meant to be full on ads, I guess you could say. But then if you switch it over to advertising, then you're going to find actual ads that are being ran on TikTok. Videos that have budgets behind them that are promoting certain products or certain services. Obviously, we're not looking for the services, but we are going to be looking for the products. And then last but not least, when you really want to start to get very specific with it, you can also start to think what platforms are people selling on? So are they going to be selling on Shopify? Are they selling on WooCommerce? And my favorite, or is it selling on a platform other than that, like Etsy? eBay, 
Amazon. Now, the reason I like this so much is because whenever I find a product that's being advertised on Etsy, so if somebody's making a TikTok video for a product that they have on Etsy, a lot of the times these products, they tend to be unique. They tend to be different than the masses that you see on, let's say, TikTok or TikTok shop. So this can very well help you find unique and trending items. So if you see here, you have products that are being sold on TikTok.com. So the TikTok shop, Shopify, WooCommerce, and Wix. These three, honestly, it's kind of kind of be the same thing. But then you also have eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and even actual stores like Target, Shein, Ulta, Sephora. So you have a lot of different things to be able to get specific when it comes to your videos. So let's see if we could find something really fast. So I like to have something that has more than 50 shares because that is, to me, going to mean that it has some buzz behind it. Besides that, as far as comments, let's leave the comments as is. That's not something that really bothers me too much, but we can see what the comments are saying in the video results. Last comment time, that's okay. Interaction rate, I want something that's doing pretty good. So let's see if we can do more than 5%. Let's see how that comes out. And as far as impressions, I want something that has, let's do over 50,000. Now, as far as the countries, I wanna see what's currently trending in the US. Language, I'm gonna leave it as is. Creation date, this I am gonna stick to the last month. I wanna see what has been trending in the last month in the US that so far has had more than 50,000 impressions and about a 5% interaction rate with more than 50 shares. All right, so, so far I have my filters set and actually, you know what, let me switch this over to organic TikTok shops. So that way we're getting organic videos. And as far as e-commerce platform, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Shopify and let's do Etsy also. The reason I'm not doing TikTok shop is because we're on the computer. So if you're browsing from the computer and you're looking at TikTok, you're not gonna be able to see TikTok shop products. But what you can do is save the video that has a TikTok shop and then open it on your phone and then look at the products through there. But what we're doing here is a little bit different. So let's just go ahead and continue. So let's go ahead and apply our filters and let's see what, what comes out. Okay, so we didn't have any results. So let's just go ahead and set our parameters a little bit different then. So our e-commerce platform, again, I am gonna choose Shopify and Etsy, just cause those are my favorite ones. Source, I'm gonna do organic. And countries, again, I'm gonna leave for the US. Now impressions, let's let's keep that at more than 20,000. All right, so these are quite a few different products and videos. So let's see what we can find. So let's just go ahead and start scrolling through different videos. Let's see what we can find. So try our dog pee pad. I guess this would be good for anybody in the dog niche. You can actually preview the videos by watching them through here also. Here they're just showing you, hey, this is a basic dog pee pad, nothing special. Keep scrolling, let's see, TikTok finds. 271 likes, nine comments, 88 shares. All right, it's not doing too bad. Let's go ahead and see the TikTok ad for this. So let's see what this is, first of all. Okay, so it's an ice cube mold from the looks of it. Oh, and it has a pop button, that's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty interesting. Let's check this one out. So it has 24,000 impressions, 271 likes, nine comments, 88 shares, an interaction rate of 1.53 with a total amount of 368 interactions. Now we can see here all of the hashtags that were used along with the description. So this is a pretty cool added bonus. And you have the product info for the product that's being shown. So we have the bio link, we have the option to see the original post and we have to view the product. The bio link is gonna take us to the link in their bio. The original post is gonna take us to tiktok.com and it's gonna show us the video and view product is gonna take us directly to this product. So honestly, I don't care about checking out their TikTok account or even seeing the video on the website. So I'm just gonna click on view product and then it takes us directly to the website. Layili, that's a strange name. All right, let's just not go with that. Let's go ahead and close that out. And there we go, this is the product. So a new ice cube mold tray gives us the size, all of the information, and you can see it's being sold for $24.99. Now that we have the product here and we have the website in front of us, how do we find a supplier? So for one, you can go to the AutoDS handpick product section and you can simply search for it through here, looking through different categories or go to the marketplace and search up any relevant terms. But another option that you have to do this is simply right click the image and go to search image with Google. Now you are gonna need to be using Google Chrome for this and this is gonna activate Google Lens. So now you can see here on the side, we have the same product and Google is actually searching the internet for this same product. So instead of searching for, let's say a text, you search for pictures. So here what you can do is simply just start scrolling through. We can see that people are selling it on Amazon, on Amazon Japan, Walmart, 
let's see we aren't looking for that though we're looking for this right here aliexpress so here over aliexpress we can find the same exact product it's running for 16 dollars and 37 cents and it has four dollar shipping now this same exact one is it's not necessarily at the best price for us to price for our profit margins but then we have more options down here so besides the options that google lens gives you you can keep scrolling and see if you could find any others like let's say another one down here or another one over here and as you can see this one was actually running for four dollars with well fourteen dollar shipping but it's still not that bad uh, but unfortunately it's no longer available but looking through some of the ones down here let's go ahead and check that one out so there we go two dollars and 72 cents how much is shipping? It's not giving us the option here, but let's check it out really fast. Let's go to checkout. And then we can see shipping is shipping is $2. So it's not that big of a deal. So in total, it comes out to about five bucks. So Google Lens is an extremely efficient way to find or backtrack images or products to find suppliers. Besides that, though, let's go ahead and check out one more. Let's see if we can find one more. Okay, this one actually looks pretty good. 14,000 likes, 257 comments, 651 shares. So let's check out the TikTok ad. All right, so hubby is going to his ex-wife's wedding. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> She's spending a lot of money. <laughs> All right, I don't expect anybody to make an ad this complicated, but you gotta be honest, this is pretty genius. Okay, so then they're showing how these different things work. Okay, that's interesting. So what she did is or whatever the creator did, maybe it is her, maybe not. They bought a bunch of things and they're showing everything off and they're giving you the different product infos so they can either make a commission out of it or just sell it themselves. So here you have the bio link. Let's see what it takes us to. Okay, so it takes us to their website called Gray. Typical dropshipping website. I can see the relevance from the video to the website, but let's click on one of the products in particular, the faucet shelf. So that's the one that TikTok itself was promoting to us. So this is the faucet shelf and it's running for $19. What does this do? Oh, well, it's pretty interesting. You can hang it on your actual faucet. All right, let's see what we can find. Search images with Google. It didn't automatically pick it up, so we have to select the image itself. And then here we have all of the different ones. So right here, faucet rack on AliExpress, the very first link. And not found, of course. So it wasn't found on AliExpress, but now we have more or less of an idea as to what's a search for. So it was called a faucet rack. So there's no more AliExpress links here. Oh, there's one here. Let's check that last one out. Okay, so for some reason, it took me to the Korean website. Let's go ahead and switch this over. Okay, so how much did we say they were selling it for? $19.90. And here they're sourcing it for about $13.56. So it's not the most optimal price in order to, to be able to make a profit but they could also be charging for shipping. So that's also something that needs to be taken into consideration. All right, so just to check out some of the other filters, I did one more. Now I cleared out the advanced filters and I kept it at the basic filters up here. So more than 20,000 likes, it needs to have a linked product and I want a CTA button of shop now. I'm not looking for any keywords, but I am specifying these three filters. So this is what came up and let's see a few of the different products. So let's check this one out really fast. It's a pretty cool shower head. Okay, so this is just a basic shower head, one of their favorite Amazon finds, and this shows it down here. So let's go to shop now. Let's see what we have. And it takes us to the TikTok shop. So this is pretty cool. It can take you to the TikTok shop. And now the next thing we need to do is if we want to see the actual supplier, let's find a clear picture. Let's do this one. And we do the same thing. Search image with Google. You can find it's running on Amazon for $61.90. Holy cow, that's an insane difference. And then we can find some different ones. Like you find it on Timu, you can go ahead and find it here on AliExpress, except this one's a bit more advanced because it has the middle option. So this is about $78, but it is something that could be similar to it. So this one's running for 59. It's pretty similar, but the difference is that this has the little middle part that controls the temperature. The other one over here doesn't seem to have that. Oh, it does. It has it, but it's a little bit different. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. No, it actually doesn't have it. So you would be able to offer something like this as a similar product, of course, at a bit more of a marked up price because you're offering the extra accessory. So as you saw, the TikTok ad spy over at AutoDS is an extremely invaluable resource that you can use in your day to day. This is something that's going to make product research an absolute breeze, especially when you use TikTok. As we all know, TikTok is filled with different videos and different products, a lot of which aren't going to be relevant to us. So all of the different filtering options that you have access to through the TikTok ad spy is something that's going to be, again, extremely helpful and extremely useful. 
and really going to cut down the time that you spend on product research. So what did you think? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about the TikTok ad spy? What do you think about product research on TikTok overall? I'm very interested to hear what you have to say about it. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you've used the TikTok ad spy before and if you found it helpful. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Remember, if you want to check out AutoDS, if you want to try us out right now, you can get started with a trial period for just $1 for the next two weeks. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and with that, I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.